nice picture there looking northwest over downtown. It is cold if you've not been outside. Graber Post building won't reflect the cold, but clear skies for a while. Here's what we're tracking. Warmer and windy on Sunday. Rain early next week, then colder, sharply colder. That's going to be followed by more snow. Thursday is the popular day for weather around here this year, or at least this February. Right now in Sierra Hope, 25, sunny. Feels like 19 with that northwest breeze at 5. Humidity's at 53%. Pressure steady, way up there at 30.49. It's been a rainy, snowy, sleet, ice. February, 4.44 inches of precipitation. Almost double the monthly average. And we're going to double the monthly average as we get into next week. We've got a lot of rain on the way, followed by snow. So we continue with that pattern of rain to snow. Now, as far as the river, 16.5 is the flood stage at Terre Haute. It's at 22.45 right now. It'll go about a foot higher before it starts uh, oh, diminishing, but then we get the rain that's coming in. So it may be problematic for a while. You can check all the area rivers on your Lincoln, Illinois, and National Weather Service websites in India as well. 20 in Terre Haute this morning, colder north, 17 Paris, 25 Washington, high temps. Came early, 35 at Terre Haute, and only well, 35 at Mattoon. Right now, cooling off slowly. We've kind of holding steady here for the last couple of hours. It's 25 at the airport, colder at Crawfordsville at 18. The warm weather to the south, 29 at only. Winds, these will be coming in now to the southwest tonight. They're going to pick up speed into 20 mile an hour range. Tomorrow, gust of 40. This is going to help warm us up very rapidly tomorrow. It does feel like 19 in Terre Haute. If you go out tonight, bundle up, not frosty cold. Metro view, you can see we're under clear skies. So we'll allow ourselves to cool a bit, but not too cold because as the winds turn and come out of the south, that pulls in a lot of warm air. We steady off on temps and start to warm up big time overnight into tomorrow morning. Quiet day across much of the U.S. Not a lot of rain going on out there. Not much snow either. So up in the upper lakes pushing into Canada, and that's about it. Regionally, hard to find a cloud out there. A few little snow showers lick effect coming off into northern Indiana. Locally, hardly anything happening. Metro view. It shows clear skies. Future cash shows it. I think we'll see a quick shot of passing clouds uh, north of Terre Haute tonight. So a brief period of partly cloudy skies. And then we begin to cloud up Monday. Now by Monday night, maybe we'll put some rain in the forecast as it works its way southwest to northeast. And the models are beginning to trim that way now. Next seven days, it gets more interesting. Here we go. Tuesday, mid-morning, rain. Rain overruns the area. Then it's out of here. Oh, as we go into Tuesday evening. Take a break one day. Maybe some snow. That's going to come in about, oh, news time Wednesday night. Then, overruns the area, maybe south, a little wintry mix out of that. Take a quick break, see more snow in a wintry mix come in Thursday morning or Thursday night. And that finally pushes out of here as we get into the early morning hours on Friday. Too early to put any numbers on it. But, again, another Thursday where we're going to start to see some snow moving into the Wabash Valley. Now, what we're looking at for tonight looks pretty good out there. I think we'll be under clear skies here in the most part. And that means uh, temps dropping into the upper teens for most. A brief shot of clouds in, and then tomorrow, well, get ready, 53 degrees. Winds low, gusting. They could gust to 40 miles an hour, so hang on to your hat. And as we look ahead on the seven-day forecast, this is where it gets interesting. Look at those 60s, and then all of a sudden the cold front rolls through Tuesday and Wednesday, drops the temp almost 30 degrees. We get a rain-snow mix in here, and the cold's going to stick right into it next weekend, Omar.